أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم everybody welcome to today's class جزاكم الله to all of you for arriving early and and being ready to start the class on time um, please excuse me today I have a slight cold but inshallah we'll still make up, wake our way through the class so if we begin today's lesson with our daily prayers if um, our discipline in charge could uh, choose a student, please. Assalamu alaikum, discipline in charge. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, can we please unmute G2630? Assalamu alaikum, G2630. G2630, can you hear me? Um, I think we'll try a different student then. Uh, G2627. G2627. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm glad to hear you're good. So, are you ready to do the dua with me today? Yes. Excellent. So, we'll start with Dawood. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim And the translation please I seek refuge with Allah from Satan the rejected Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And the translation? In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Well done. And we are on Wednesday today, so we will go to Wednesday's prayer. Just take this down. Here we are. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khayrun indak. Rabbi alimni ma huwa kairun indak. Very nice, mashallah. Well done. Can you recite the translation, please? Oh, my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your knowledge. Jazakumullah asnan jaza. Um, G2627. Thank you for your help. Alafiz. Alafiz. Okay. So, um, before we can uh, continue, I just want to give you a quick reminder of your etiquettes in the class. You should um, be in vudu, you have your clean clothes with your head covered. Um, you should be in a quiet place with a parent present. And please, please make sure you have your correct ID. If you have come in, signed in with your name, please re-sign yourself and make sure you have the correct ID. Okay. The attendance form has been um, added to the chat box. Please make sure you go in and um, fill out the attendance, attendance form so that it is registered that you have attended today's lesson. Um, we have another announcement which has been um, told to you previously, but I'm just going to retell you that. Um, and it is about the half term. Please be reminded that next week is half term and there will be no G2 classes. The classes will restart on the 20th of February 2023. So not you won't have any classes from next Monday until next Friday. And the classes will start again on the Monday, the 20th of February. OK, right. So let's see what we are going to be doing in today's lesson. Um, today's lesson, this is our schedule. So. We have, um, it is class 23, and it is the 8th of February today, and we begin with our assembly as usual, and we will look at our rule in focus, which is Madhe Asli, Ya Madha, which we'll be covering today. We will then go on to our practice text of the Holy Quran, which is um, continuation of chapter 26, and we'll be looking at verses 120 to 128 today, inshallah. And our mispronounced letter for today's class is Hamza. Okay, and we will end as usual um, by consolidating and um, giving out your homework. Okay, please also make sure that you are doing your homework. It really, really does make a difference um, on uh, your overall performance if you make sure that you practice uh, what you have covered in the class, practice the mispronounced letters. Um, if you keep doing that, you will really notice a lot of progress in your recitation. So please make sure that you, you pay attention to the homework. 
Okay, so um, we are going to focus on our rule first of all. So in we're looking at normal elongation. The mother is an Arabic word. It means to lengthen or to prolong. There are three letters known as haruful mud. That's the Arabic term, haruful mud. The English for this is letters of prolongation. Okay, letters of prolongation. Haruful mud cause prolonging of sounds when they come after certain strokes. So normal elongation, we're still focusing on normal elongation, not extra long elongation. But today we're going to concentrate on ya mud. Okay, so if you have a kasra, um, which is a short stroke of kasra, it's always one count or one beat. Right? And then if you have a ya sakin, that means a ya with a sukun on the top, followed, uh, following um, a letter with a kasra underneath. Okay. The short stroke of kasra followed by a ya sakin. This is a ya mud. Okay, so you have to look at the letter that comes before the ya if it has a stroke of kasra underneath and the ya has a sukun on the top. This is called a ya mud. Ya mud. Short stroke of kasra followed by a ya sakin. Note the difference. This is um, a ya sakin and this is a ya mud. So a ya by itself with a sukun on top is called a ya sakin. But if there is a letter with a kasa underneath, then you will call it a ya mud. So you have to be very careful and look carefully at the letter that comes before um, a ya if the ya has a sukun on top. Okay. The ya mud causes the sound to prolong to two counts. So a simple kasra is one beat or one count. Um, a kasra followed by a ya with a skun goes to two counts or two beats. So we have here some, <coughs> some practice letters so that we can see um, what or how to pronounce this particular letter. Okay, so it says ya madia is always preceded by a consonant carrying the stroke of kasra as demonstrated in the following examples of the Holy Quran. Okay, so if I can have a student, please, just to go through these examples. Um, can we try student G2703? Assalamu alaikum G2703, can you hear me? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I think they're unable to mute. So if we try a different student. Um, D2746. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm um, good, Jazakla. Okay, so are you understanding what we mean by a yamad? G. Okay, so if we want to know how to recognize a yamad, what do we need to look at? We have to look at if there's a, another letter uh, next to it. Before it, good. And what Before should that letter have underneath it? A kasra. Excellent. And what should the ya have on top of it? A sukun. Excellent. Well done. So if you could, um, sorry, it's gone on to the next one. If you can do tawuz and tasmiyah, then we'll just practice these letters quickly. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Excellent. So here we have a meem with a kasta, which is followed by a ya with a skun. So how many seconds will we say this for? A two. Excellent. So we would say me. Me. Excellent, well done. So if we were going to say this in a word like this, here we would say miqatu. Miqatu. Very good, well done. How would we say this one? Si. Excellent, well done. So let's go. So let's go on to this word. 
a second. And here we would say we have a yamad here, and then we have another yamad here next to it. Okay, so we would say this Sinina. Sinina. Very good. Well done. Excellent. Let's move on and let's do a couple of examples from here. Okay, so here we have um, a dal with the yama, with the ya, with the sukun. So this makes this a yamad. How will we pronounce just these two letters here, the dal and the ya? D. Excellent. Two seconds. D or two counts. Let's say the whole word. Shadidun. Shadidun. Very good. Well done. Let's move on to the next one. Qadirun. Qadirun. Let's move on to the next one. Halimun. Halimun. Very good. Do you want to try this next one by yourself? Okay. Mabinun. Mubinun. Once more. Okay. Mubinun. Very good. So extend this and make a nasal sound. There's a tanveen here, so you need to make a nasal sound at the end. Mubinun. Mubinun. Very good. And the next one? Rabbi, Rabbi, Rahimun. Very good. Rahimun. Rahimun. Very good. Jazakumullah G2746. That was a lovely recitation. Thank you for your help. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Um, if we could have another student on the mic, please. Um, can we try G2733? Assalamu alaikum, G2733. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. I'm well. Are you understanding everything okay? Um, G. Excellent. So if we start with Dawood and Tasmiya, we'll just make this a bit bigger for you. Um, and then we'll begin. Okay. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanu rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Jazakumullah. So what do we call um what do we call a ya with a sukun? Um when the letter before it has a kasna underneath, what do we call it? A ya what? Do you remember? Do we call it a ya sakin or do we call it a ya mad? G2733, can you hear me? A discipline in charge, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can hear you. Um, I'm not sure if there's been a connection lost, maybe. G2733? Um, I think maybe we should try can somebody we'll try else. A different student. Uh, G2601. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Are you understanding everything okay in today's class? Yes. Excellent. So if we start with Dawood and Tasmiya. A'udhu billah. Okay, so can you tell me what we call this ya with the sukun on the top? What will we call this? A ya what? Ya mud. Excellent. How do we know it's a ya mud? Because of? Because of the... And because the previous letter, it's got a uh, um, kasra. Excellent. Well done. And how many um, how many counts will we pronounce this letter for? Two. 
Excellent. Well done. So we will pronounce this for two counts. So we're just going to read these two letters together. It would be I. I. Very good. Once more. I. I. Excellent. Let's say the word. Na I. Mun. Na I. Mun. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. So the two letters together. Li. Li. Very good. So just two counts or two beats. Sali mun. Sali mun. Very good. And let's do this last one here. So ri. Ri. Very good. Gari mun. Karimun, Very good. Jazakumullah G2601 for your help. That was lovely recitation. Well done. Jazakumullah. Okay. So, so please all of you remember that when you see your letter, uh, one of your haruful mud, um, and the one we are covering today is ya mud, so that is a ya with a sukun on the top of it. And the letter preceding it, the letter that comes before it, has a kasra underneath. That makes it a ya mud. And we say that for two counts or two seconds. Okay, or two beats. Okay, excellent. So we're now going to go on to our Quran reading. We're beginning today from verse 120. So from here. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So we will call a student to the mic. Um, and I will recite, and then the student can recite after me, and we will go through um, these verses. Okay, so if we could have another student on the mic, please. Uh, can we try G2632? Assalamu alaikum, G2632. Wa alaikum salam. How are you today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. So if we start with Dawood and Tasmiya. Okay. Uh, 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 So I will recite the verse and then um, you tell me if you want to break it down, we can break it down and go slow. Or you can recite the verse after me, um, and then we can we can correct, make any um, improvements that we need to. Tika, Billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim, Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim, Anjainahu wa mamahu fil fulk al-Mashhu. Would you like to have a go or do you want me to break it down? Sorry, I can't hear you very clearly. I can hear you that you're there, but um, you need to speak up a little bit. Can I, can I read by myself? You can, but um, you need to move closer to the mic because we can't hear you. Okay. Uh, I still can't hear you clearly enough, Bitter. You need to, you'll need to... Um, Adjust your headset or go closer to the, the microphone. Okay. It was clear at the beginning. Have you moved position? Um, I think I think it's because I'm not I, I'm farther away from the internet. But it was it was clear when you were doing Tawud and Tasmiya. Okay. And try again? Um, discipline in charge, can you hear the student clearly? Um, it seems like it's uh, the student's very far away. Yeah. Can you make sure there's nothing nothing covering up the mic or covering up your mouth? Because I, I really can't hear you very clearly. Should we try once more? Okay. That's better. That's better. Try again. 
Very good. It still looked very loud, but I could hear you clearly enough. That was really good. Well done. Um, you read really, really nicely as far as I could hear. Um, you made sure here, which was really important, that you joined this meme here to the meme Mushadad here. So that was really good. So let's do it again. We're just going to take it a bit slower. But uh, very good excellent well done jazakumullah g2632 that was really good recitation you made sure you held on your nasal sound here with your nunguna which was really good and over here as well when you joined to the noon here, that was really good. Um, you did your elongation properly and it was lovely recitation. So Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Jazakallah. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if we could have another student, please. Uh, G2630. Assalamu alaikum, G2630. Can you hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. How are you today? Good. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Um, are you understanding everything okay in the class? Yes. Excellent. Good. If we start with Dawood and Tasmiyah, then we'll begin. Okay. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Are we where it's highlighted? So we are going to start from here. Okay. Here. Okay. So I will read. I will read this this verse first, and then um you can read afterwards. Tiga. Okay. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Thumma aghraqna ba'adul baqin. Thumma aghraqna ba. Really good effort. Well done. Let's break it down a little bit. Summa. Summa. Good. So this is a meme with a shadow on the top. So we just have to make a nasal sound for about two seconds when we join. Okay. Summa. Summa. Very good. Summa. Summa. Very good. Ba'dul baqin. Ba'dul baqin. Very good. So ba' so we've got um, an ayn here. Okay. Ba'dul ba'dul baqin. Baqin. Very good. So here we're joining. If you notice here, what is the rule in focus today? Can you tell me something about that? You have to um, prolong the um, qaf. Got the qaf. Excellent. Because? Because it um, has the um, mark. It has the, um, I forgot what it's called. The yamad. Well done. Good. The yamad. The Excellent. Because the qaf has a qasra underneath, um, you have to, and the ya has a sukun on top, it means we prolong for two seconds. Okay? So we prolong for two seconds. So we say two seconds. Yeah? yeah? Then there is a noon at the end, but we're making a stop. Okay, so we're gonna put we're gonna make a stop here, but we need to make sure that this bit is long enough. There are further rules linked to um how you make a stop. But at the moment, we just need to make sure we elongate this a little bit, right? So we say, Oin. Oin. Very good. Let's try this verse again. Summa. Ag 
Raknabi Dulbaqin. Very good. I'm going to read it once. Let's try it a little bit, little bit um smoother. Thumma aghraqna ba'dul baqin. Thumma aghraqna ba'dul baqin. Really, really good, mashallah. Well done. You did really well, and your your speed improved. Um, the second, third time you recited it. So keep practicing. Um, and as you keep practicing, your speed will improve as well and your fluency will improve. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help, G2630. Um, okay, can we have another student, please? Uh, can we try G2643? G2643. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. How are you today? Good, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Excellent. Are you understanding everything okay? Yes. Brilliant. So if we start with Tawuz and Tasmiya and then we'll begin. A'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillah rahman rahim Excellent. So I'm going to recite the verse. And then I want you to have a go reciting after. But before I recite, can I just ask you what we will call this? The rule, the rule of today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my dear. Yeah, my dear. Yeah, well done. How many seconds will we say this for? Two count. Two counts. How do we recognize Yamadia? How do we recognize a Yamad? What do we need to look for? Kasra. Kasra where? Before or after? Before. Good. Well done. So you have a Ya with a Sukun and the letter before has a Kasra. That means it's Yamad and you will say that for two counts. Yeah. Can you see any other Yamads in this verse that we are about to recite? Hmm. Look no. Over. No. No. What about over here? Uh. Yeah. This is also yeah. yamad. Yeah, because we have a noon with a kasra, and then we have a ya with a sukun. So this is also yamad. Okay. So we will need to say this for two counts as well. Okay. So I will recite the verse, and then you can have a go reciting afterwards. Inna fi thalika la aya Wa ma kana aksaruhum mu'mineen Inna fi thalika la la ya la la aya Vamaka Vamaka na Aksaru Hummu Minin. Really, really good effort. Well done. That was really good. Okay, so a couple of things that we need to think about. How many seconds do we need to say this for? Do you know? Two count. Why two counts? What kind of a stroke is this? Do you remember? This is just a normal fatha. It's normal fatha. Well done. So we only say this for one count. Okay. Now, because there's a shadda on the noon, we make a nasal sound for two counts when we're joining, but then we only say the noon for one count afterwards. So listen carefully. We would say, in, in the, excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold. In the, in the. Very good. So you make a nasal sound on the noon. You hold on the noon. In the, Inna. Very good. Inna fi thalika. Inna fi thalika. Very good. La aya. La aya. Very good. So let's say that all once more. Have a go from here. Inna fi thalika. La aya. La aya. 
Very good. Now, this is something some a lot of us get confused about. This is a lam and then an alif. Okay, so the lam has um, a fatta and the alif has a vertical fatta. So it's la. So this is one la. count and this is two counts. Once more. La. -a. Very good. So I'm going to say it once more and you can have another go. In fi the liga. La aya. In fi the liga. La aya. Very good. Well done. Let's move on to the next part. Wama kana. Wama kana. Aksaruhum. Aksaruhum. Very good. So here we have a meme with a sukun and then a meme with um, a mashadad meme here. So we ignore this meme, which you did correctly the first time you recited. So that was really good. Hummu minin. Hummu minin. Very good. Do you want to have a go from here? Vama kana aksaru hum hummu. Meaning. Very good. So when you're joining, you need to make sure you go from the heart all the way to the meme. Okay. Wama kana aksaru hummu minin. Wama kana ok aksaru hummu Meaning. Very good. Excellent. G2643. That was a lovely recitation. Well done. Jazakumullah. Just keep practicing. Um, and your reading is really, really good, mashallah. Well done. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. If we could have another student, please. Um, can we try G2612? <clears throat> alaikum G2612. G2612, can you hear me? Um, try someone else? Try a different student. Uh, G2635. Assalamualaikum. Oh, is that G2612? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, um, how are you today? Alhamdulillah. You're good. Um, if you could start with the words and tasmiyah, then we'll begin. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Jazakumullah. Okay, so um, are you understanding everything in the lesson okay? Uh, yes. Excellent. So can you tell me what we will call uh, this, please? Um, a second. Uh, this is a ya sakin, but the letter before has a kasra, so this becomes what? Do you remember? Uh, no. A ya mad, a ya mad. Do you remember how many seconds we need to pronounce this for? Um, four to six. This is just for two seconds or two counts. Okay, so the ya mad is just for two seconds or two counts or two beats. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is, you need to remember, if you see a ya with a skun, ya sakin, but the letter before has a kasra, then it becomes a yamad. You don't call it a yasakir anymore. We call it a yamad. Okay? So just keep that mm -hmm. in mind and then we can practice. We have another yamad over here. So how many counts? How many seconds? Two. Excellent. Good. So I will recite um, the verse and then you can um, recite after me. Really good effort. Let's break it down a little bit. Wa in Rabaka. Wa in Rab. Baka. Very good. Wa in Rabbaka lahu. Wa in Rabbaka lahu. 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 
Good. So now we're going to continue from the lam. La huwal azizu. La huwal azizu. Good. Well done. Azizu. Now we look carefully, we see the, the shada there. So we need to join the za to the ra. Okay. So la huwal azizu. La huwal azizu. Zurra Zurra Zurrahim Zurrahim Good. So we can try and put that together now. Okay, so from the beginning. Wa in Rabbaka Lahu wal Azizurrahim Wal in Rabbaka Really good effort. Lahu. Lahu wal. Try that again. Lahu wal. Very good. Lahu wal azizurrahim. Lahu wal azizurrahim. Really good effort. Jazakumullah G2612. Just keep practicing. You read really, really well. So now it's just about continuing to practice. And then you'll be able to say longer sections um, within one breath, within one go. Okay. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. We could have our next student, please. Uh, can we try G2635? G two six three five. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Alhamdulillah, I'm Excellent. fine. Excellent, good. So, if we could start with the words and tasmiya. Okay. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so we're going to start from here and I'll recite, then you can recite after me. A'udhu billahi min shaitan irrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kazzabat adun al mursaleen. Kazzabat adu. Nil Mursalin. Really good. Once more. Kazabat. Kazabat. Adu. Adu. Nil Mursalin. Nil Mursalin. Very good. Once more from the beginning. Kazabat. Adu. Nil Mursalin. Excellent. How many seconds do we say this for? Do you remember? Two seconds. Excellent. Good. So just make sure that's really clear that you you know that that's different from a one second stroke. Okay. Adu. Make sure that's clear. Right. Good. Well done. Let's go on to the next verse. Is qala lahum akhuhum hudun ala tattaqun. Is Kala Lahum Ahuhum Hu Dun Alatahun. Very good. Tatahun. Tatahun. So when you're joining it, really push down on this, uh, this um, <coughs> Shadda letter. Taqun. Taqun. Very good. Now, remember, this is a thick sound. You're off. Okay. So, once more from here, making sure you make this thick sound here. Is qala lahum ahuhum hudun ala taqun. Once more. Is is qala. Lahum 
أخوهم هود ألا تتقون. Really good. So just remember here. تتقون. تتقون. Very good. So we don't want to we don't want to elongate this ta at all. We don't want to say تتقون. We want to say تتقون. Yeah. تتقون. Very good. تتقون. تتقون. Excellent. Well done. Um. So let's. Yes, we'll stop there. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, G2635, for your help. Really good recitation, lovely pronunciation, um, and your, your flow is really good. So just keep practicing, and the more you practice, the faster your speed will become as well. Jazakumullah. Thank you for your help. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if we could have our next student, please. Um, can we have G2636? G two six three six. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm well. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Um, are you understanding everything okay? Hmm? Are you understanding everything okay? Yes. Excellent. So if we can start with Dawood and Tasmiya, then we'll begin. أعوذ بالله أعوذ بالله أعوذ بالله بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم جزاكم الله So I'm going to recite from here um, and then you can um, follow me once I've recited. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan irrajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inni lakum rasoolun ameen. Inni lakum rasoolun ameen. Really nice, well done. So here we have um we have a nun gunna, so we need to make a nasal sound for two seconds. Inni, inni. Very good. Here, what's this? We've just been covering this today. Do you remember what it's called? A ya with a sukun, and the letter before has a kasra. Do you remember what that's called? <laughs> It's called a yamad. A yamad. Yamad. How many seconds will we pronounce this for? Two seconds. Excellent. Well done. So we say inni. Inni. Very good. So let's try the whole the whole verse once again. Inni la kum rasulun. Amin. Inni lakum rasulun. Amin. Very good. Let's go on to the next verse. Fattakullaha wa ati'un. Fattakullaha wa ati'un. Really good effort. Well done. But really harden um, this because we've got a shadow on the ta. But very good. But very good. So this is two seconds here. Excellent. Try it once more from the beginning. Very good. So I'm going to say it once more. Let's try it and make sure that we say this in... Um, all together in one flow. Yeah, this second part. So, 
Taqullaha wa ati'un. Fattaqullaha wa ati'un. Excellent. Really, really good, mashallah. Excellent. Really lovely recitation. Keep practicing. Make sure you practice and um, you where the words are joined together, you try to say the whole word together. Okay, without a break. So that, that's really, that will help you with your recitation. Sakamullah, so, thank you so much for your help. G2636. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. <coughs> we could have another student, please. Uh, can we try G2703? G2703. Assalamualaikum. G2703. Should we try someone else? Um, can we try G2711? G2711, Assalamualaikum. Um, I think we'll try a different student. G2722. Oh. oh, is that G2711? Is that G2711? Uh, shall we try a different student? Yes, please, because we, otherwise That's we're going to run it. Oh, who is this? G2711. Assalamualaikum, G2711. Okay, excellent. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah. Okay, if we start with Dawood and Tasmiya. Okay, so I'm going to read. I'm going to make a stop here. Okay, I'm going to make a vag for pause here and then I will continue. But I will read the entire verse and then you can have a go. Okay? Okay. Alayhi min aj in ajriya illa ala rabbil alayhim. Can I have a go? Wa ma asalukum al alayhi mihi min aj ajri aj. Aj. Good. If you want to continue, then you say Ajarin. Ajarin in Ajriya illa ala Rabbil Rabbil Alamin. Really good, Mashala. Really good effort. Well done. Let's break it down a little bit. Wama as alukum. Okay, so when we have this um, elongation, we need to extend for at least three seconds, three to five seconds. Okay. Wama as alukum. Wama as alukum. Alayhi. Alayhi. Min ajr. Min ajr. In ajriya. In Ajaria, Illa Ala, Illa Ala, Rubbil Alameen, Rubbil Alameen. Good, shall we try it just from here? here? <laughs> Off you go. In Ajaria, In Ajaria, Illa. Really good, mashallah. So just keep practicing that, um, making sure you did your elongations really, really well, mashallah. You, you made sure that you elongated where you needed to. You pushed down well on your mashadda letters. So keep practicing. The more you practice, the better um, your flow will become. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. Jazakumullah. Love is. Okay.
Okay, so we have reached um, the end of our recitation for today. We will now go on to our um, mispronounced um, letters. Um, today we are looking at the letter Hamza. Um, its um, area it <laughs> is formed in is, um, it is the letter of the throat. Um, the Arabic is Al-Halq. Um, it's a letter of the throat. Um, it's often replaced with the letter Ain because of the similarity of the way that they look as well. Um, they are often um, confused for one another or they are pronounced um, incorrectly because of um, that. Um, it is pronounced, um, the letter originates from the bottom of the throat near the chest. There should be no trace of the ein sound in its pronunciation. So the Hamza, the sound of the Hamza is a, a, not a, which is from, um, which is your ein sound. So you need to keep it very, very soft when you are pronouncing the letter Hamza. Okay. Um, so let us move on to um, some examples. Uh, if we could have a student, please. Uh, can we try G274? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, G274. G274. Um, if we try someone else, um, can we try G two? Oh. Sorry. Uh, can we try G two six three eight? Assalamualaikum. G two six. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So, um, are you understanding everything? Okay. Yes. Excellent. So if we start with Dawood and, and Tasmiyah, then we'll begin. Excellent. Well done. So here we've got, to, uh, we've got some examples of the way that we need to pronounce the letter Hamza. Okay. So here we have Nabba'u. Nabba'u. And here is, if there was an ayn, it would be pronounced nabba'u. Nabba'u. Oh, well done from the throat. So if it's in a word, and, and we'll recite the word, and then you can recite after me. Latu nabba'una. Latu nab. Nabba'una. Nabba'una. Very good. Latu nab. Excellent, well done. So here, um, let's do this one first. Let me highlight that. Um, here, we would say, and it's a soft jerk when there is a sukoon on the Hamza. So we would say, yukma. Yukma. Good, well done. Here we have the ayn, so we say, yukma. Yama. Good. So this isn't a jerk, this is an ein. Yama. Yama. Good. So the ein is a difficult one um, when we were pronouncing it, but we need to remember that the hamza is a very soft jerk when it has a schoon on top. So we say yama una. Yama una. Excellent. Well done. So here we have uku. Uku. Here we have Uku. Oh, oh. Very good. Uku. Uku. Ma. Ukum. Ma. Ukum. Very good. Let's go on to the next one. Do. 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 Really good effort. So this ayn again, it's really difficult. We need to just keep practicing it. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Let's go on to this one. Mia. 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 
ah from the throat ah middle me ah me ah okay hami atin hami atin very good so it's just one of those letters we just need to keep practicing when you've got the hamza just keep it really soft um like an alif okay um, and it it comes from the bottom of your throat the sound comes from the bottom of your throat okay jazakumullah thank you so much g2 um, 638 thank you for your help Hilafis. okay um if we could um <clears throat> I'm going to show, we don't think we have time for another student. Um, we'll go on to our homework. So today, what we have been looking at is a consolidation. So just to remind you of everything we've covered in today's lesson, we have um, been covering Madhya Asli. So if you see a Ya Sakin straight after a letter carrying a Kasra, you prolong the sound to two counts. Okay, and it is called a Ya Mad. Okay, the practice text that we've been looking at today was chapter 26, verses 120 to 128. Um, the letter of the day was um, uh, Hamza. It's a letter of the throat. In Arabic, we call that Al Halq. And the references, um, the Tasin al Quran, pages 94 to 98. And your homework uh, for today is to practice today's verses, apply all the rules that you've revised so far in your daily Dalavat. Please pay attention to timing. Remember, the meanings can change with incorrect timing. They okay? actually can change the meaning of the words that you are saying. Okay, so if there, if you need to look at anything or cl click on anything, just make sure everything is in the Google file, the Google folder. You can go on there um, and have all of the information that you need. Okay? So let us um, end with our final prayer. Um, if we could have another student, please. Um, can we try G2692? G2692. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Are we understanding everything in the lesson okay? Yes. Excellent. So if we start with Tawuz and Tasmiya, and then we'll recite our final prayer. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم ارحمني بالقرآن العظيم اللهم ارحمني بالقرآن العظيم Ah, make sure that I'm okay. Um, and the translation. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran, the Great. Wajal huni imam wa nurang wa hudang wa rahma. Wajal huni imam wa Okay, let's do that once more. Wajal Huli Wajal Huli Imam So there's a nasal sound there. Imam Imamawa Imamawa Nurawa Imamawa Nurawa Nurawa Hudawa Nurawa Hudawa Dawa Dawa Hudawa Rahma Hudawa Rawa Rahma Rahma Good, really good effort. Just keep practicing your dua as well. Okay, well done. And the, the translation, please. I'll make it for me, the leader, the light of the gate is 
and the mercy. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah to all the students, to all the parents uh, for taking the time for the class. And inshallah, we will see you all again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.